Hello, everyone, and welcome to another English-only vocabulary lesson here at Study English with Us. We're so glad that you have joined us. We received enough emails, uh, positive feedback about our English-only lessons that we decided to continue those. And today we're going to be starting a series on foods. And uh, there's so many foods that have English terms that uh, people want to know that uh, this series could go on for many lessons. Today we'll start with food groups and uh, then we'll zero in on each of those food groups and learn the many terms that are out there for the various foods that you might want to shop for as you go shopping or go to the restaurants. Before we get started today, I wanted to point out one feature of the YouTube system that uh, you might um, find helpful as you study along with me as I speak English only. Some of you have written in and asked about uh, maybe showing some subtitles uh, as I speak and that that might help you. Well, YouTube has a feature called closed captioning. And if you look just below uh, the video here, you will see a number of menu icons. And one of them says CC on it for closed captioning. And if you click on that and select that to be turned on, you will be able to uh, see the closed captioning as I speak. Now, because this is an auto-generated closed captioning, it doesn't always uh, give you punctuation uh, and isn't always perfect, but it is pretty good. And I think that you will find it helpful if you are studying English uh, to be able to see the English words underneath uh, me as I speak. And so give that a try. Turn on closed captioning. But with that, let's get started with food groups. All right, let's talk about food groups. Food groups. Now, when people talk about food groups, they are usually referring to uh, different categories of food in relation to their nutritional value and offerings. And so people uh, who are nutritionists who are trying to get people to have balanced diets will talk about a food pyramid. But today, in our vocabulary lessons, we're going to take a little bit different approach to our food groups. I have selected a number of groups of food, uh, or we might call them categories of food, uh, that we can think about as we want to learn the English terms of these groups. And so rather than talk about a, uh, a food group in terms of nutritional value, we're going to talk more in terms of foods in their categories. And the first food group that we might talk about is meat. Meat. This is usually the flesh of animals, and uh, they are slaughtered and prepared for food. Meat. Another category of foods is vegetables. Vegetables. And there are really two types of vegetables, and we'll talk about this more in a future lesson. There are what's called root vegetables and leafy vegetables. And we see in the photograph here uh, some sampling of both types of vegetables. You have some root-based vegetables here and also some leafy vegetables. Another group of foods is called the grains. Grains. And this is a category of food that is recommended by most nutritionists to be something that we should eat the most of every day. Grains and cereal crops. You'll notice in the photograph here there is rice, there's corn, there's wheat, 
and all of the products that can be made from those main cereal uh, crops. Another grouping of food is fruit. Fruit. Another group of food that I really like is nuts. Nuts. There's so many wonderful tasting nuts out there. And if you are a vegetarian or you're trying to become more of a vegetarian and get away from the meats, many people are trying to do that today. Well, nuts and foods made from different types of nuts can be a good substitute for meat because it provides protein just like meat uh, provides people with protein. So nuts, and we'll do a whole lesson on the different types of nuts that you can include in your diet. This is another very popular type of food in many cultures, is to include fish in your diet. And fish can come either from the lake or from the ocean, or today a lot of uh, people are making fish farms. And, of course, it's always preferable if you can get wild fish from the lake or the ocean, uh, the rivers that uh, are flowing freely, because those fish are often considered to be more healthy than the fish that is grown on fish farms. But many people love to include fish in their diet and may have a little bit of fish every day. Dairy is another grouping of food that we can talk about. Dairy. And usually when we talk about dairy, we're talking about milk and milk products. So those could include things like cheese, sour cream, yogurt, so many wonderful things that can be considered in the dairy group. Dairy. Another very popular type of food for many people, especially those living near the ocean, is uh, seafood. And uh, we'll spend another lesson on learning the various terms for seafood. Seafood. Another favorite grouping of food is the desserts. All of those wonderful sweets. As you look at the food pyramids that are provided by nutritionists, you'll notice that these desserts are right at the top, which means you should not have very many of them in your daily diet. Because if you eat too many of these desserts or sweets, or sugar, you will find that you might start having dietary problems and uh, maybe even start gaining more weight than you would like. And so you use desserts sparingly. Maybe once a day, maybe only a couple times a week, depending on your metabolism of, uh, des of the sugar and that type of thing. One category of food that I really enjoy are soups. Soups. Now, some of you might be asking, well, why don't you just call it soup rather than soups? Some of the other categories that we talked about didn't have the S at the end. So if we look at some of these that we have uh, talked about, not all had the S at the end. And you might be wondering why some have an S at the end and some don't. For example, here, why don't we say meats instead of the food grouping of meat? Well, actually, both would be fine. Both would be correct. You could say that uh, there is a group of meats and that would be okay. But usually when English-speaking people talk about um, different types of meat, they will just use the singular form, meat. Let's take a look at some of these others. You probably wouldn't say a group of vegetable. You would say a group of vegetables, different kinds of vegetables, and you'd use the S for that. Grains. It would be unlikely that an English-speaking person would say, um, let's talk about a group of grain. A group of grain. No, it's group of grains. Let's talk about the different types of grains that you can eat. Fruit. 
fruit in English is more likely to be termed fruit uh, rather than fruits when you think of a category. Let's talk about fruit. Let's discuss fruit, different kinds of fruit rather than different kinds of fruits. Again, it's not wrong to say, let's talk about some fruits. That would be fine too. But it's more likely that you would say fruit as a group. Nuts. Here again, you'd want to use the S in English. Uh, that flows the easiest to say, let's talk about different kinds of nuts. Nuts. What about fish? Would we say, let's talk about fishes? No, it's more likely that an English-speaking person would say, let's talk about different types of fish. Let's talk about the group of food known as fish. Dairy. It's not going to be dairies. No, the food group that includes different types of milk and cheese and sour cream and cottage cheese. It is going to all come together in a group called dairy. Seafood. Well, it wouldn't be totally wrong for you to say seafoods. It's more likely that an English-speaking person would categorize food from the ocean as seafood. Let's go to a seafood restaurant rather than a seafoods restaurant. Desserts. The most likely uh, term would be with the S on desserts. Desserts. Let's talk about some desserts. Let's group some food into a category and call it desserts rather than dessert. Dessert, you would have more of a meaning of just one type of dessert. Whereas if you want to talk about a group of different kinds of foods, like cakes and pies and candy, that would be desserts. And so we come back to our category on soups. And once again, it wouldn't be totally wrong for you to say soup. Let's talk about soup and be thinking in your mind many different types of soup. But it's more likely if you're talking about a group of different types of soup. But if you wanted to categorize um, many different types of soups, it's more likely in English you would say soups. Soups. Salads. Again, the same. Uh, a salad singular would probably just be talking about one type of salad. You'd think in your mind one salad but if you wanted to talk about many different types of salads as a grouping, you would say salads. Salads. Oils. We could talk about uh, the many different types of oils. Now, this particular word, oil, can actually refer to a lot of different types of products. But when we're talking about food, we would be talking about extracts from food to make different types of oils that you can use in cooking. Oils. Oils. Something that adds a lot of flavor to our foods. When we're cooking up uh, some delicious meals, we'll want to add some herbs and spices. Herbs and spices. Now here's a category of food that we can talk about. Fast food. Fast food. Now, when we call these types of foods we see in the illustration here, you've got hamburger, you've got sub sandwiches, you've got french fries. We call those fast foods not because it's necessarily easy and fast to make these types of foods. We call it fast food because these are the types of foods that many fast food restaurants make. And if you're having a busy day, rather than take the time to cook your meal, you might run out to a nearby fast food restaurant and order one of these items and have your food very quickly. You might have it within a minute or two because 
They have set up their system to make these foods very quickly. In fact, they might already have your sandwich ready for you when you walk in the door and just are keeping it warm so that when you order, they can immediately place it out on your plate or on your tray. And so those are fast foods. One last category that we'll talk about in this lesson is junk food. Junk food. Now, some people might say, now, isn't that the same as fast food? <laughs> Aren't those categories kind of the same thing? And uh, it's true that many of the things that you would find at a fast food restaurant may be considered by many as junk food. Uh, I believe that there are some subtle differences. Uh, and when we get to the lesson on fast food and junk food, we'll maybe point out a few differences that uh, you might be able to find when you go to a fast food restaurant. There are probably some items on their menus that are a little healthier and might not necessarily fall into the category of junk food. But it is the type of food uh, that nutritionists would say we should try and avoid for various reasons. We see in the photograph here sodas, for example. I don't know if you know, but one can of soda can have 10 teaspoons of sugar in it, and sugar can uh, be very damaging to uh, our bodies and the way it affects the way we think and uh, can affect our immune system. And so we want to avoid eating too many foods that have a lot of sugar in them. And many of these items in this photograph are full of sugar. Uh, the French fries that you see there, the reason why it's considered to be junk food is because it is deep fried in oil. And uh, it is important not to have too much of this deep fried foods come into your system because it can cause uh, many different types of heart problems. All right, well, I believe that that does it for this section of our lesson on food groups where we're actually using the words in a conversational way. After the break, we'll come back and just do our vocabulary drills so that we can get these new words into your long-term memory. So stick around, and we'll see you after the break. Welcome back to the vocabulary section of our lesson. And uh, once again, I want to emphasize the importance of you saying the words after me. I'm going to leave a little space after I say the word, and it's important that you also speak the words. It will help you not only remember the word itself, but remember how to say it if you verbalize, if you say the word after me. So let's get started. Food groups. Food groups. Food pyramid. Food pyramid. Balanced diet. Balanced diet. Meat. Meat. Vegetables, vegetables, grains, grains, fruit, fruit, nuts, nuts, fish. Fish, dairy, dairy, seafood, seafood, desserts, desserts, soups, soups. Salads, salads, oils, oils, herbs, 
and spices. Herbs and spices. Fast food. Fast food. Junk food. Junk food. I believe uh, that uh, does it for our lesson today. Please let us know uh, in the comments below if uh, you found this lesson helpful. Uh, let us know if there was a grouping of food that we missed. Perhaps there's some types of foods that you really enjoy that uh, we didn't talk about or put in one of our groups. And uh, we might have to come back to that in our next lesson and include it. But uh, if you found this lesson helpful, we encourage you to like, share, and if you haven't already done so, uh, so go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And that way, especially if you ring the little bell that's right beside the subscribe button, you will be notified each time uh, we release a new lesson. And uh, that way you can find the lessons very easily. If you like these English-only lessons, uh, we're starting a playlist of English-only here at uh, Study English with Us. And I'll put the notification up here in the corner of how you can find that playlist of English-only lessons. And we want to give a warm welcome to those of you who are coming to study English with us uh, from many different languages and just wanting to learn English. We hope that you will find the lessons very helpful. Let us know in the comments below some of the types of vocabulary that you would like to learn, and we'll start working on those lessons as well. But for now, I believe that that does it uh, for this lesson on food groups. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we hope to see you down the road. So long for now.